In a previous video, I showed how I make custom nameplates for my projects using an acid etching technique. With my recent X-Carve upgrades, I decided it was time I tried duplicating these robotically. And after a bit of testing, I think I've got at least a working solution. This nylon flap wheel removes any remaining surface burr and gives the aluminum a subtle brushed look. Nope, that doesn't really help. By the way, I want to thank Starbond for sending me a bunch of their glues to try out. It's what I'm using to hold down the metal. This tape and glue method is perfect for thin material. And there's a link down in the video description you can use to get 10% off. This is really good stuff. Quick tip, when changing bits, put a piece of foam underneath the collet. That way, when you inevitably drop a bit, you won't damage the tip. I got the order wrong on the paths. Let me fix that real quick. Clickety click, click. Okay, back in business. Now believe me, I know what it's like to watch a CNC video like this on YouTube and come away with zero practical information on how to duplicate the results. So I'm including all the information for this carve down in the video description, links to the bits I used, speeds, depths, all that stuff. And I'm going to continue to refine the procedure too, so if I make any changes, I'll update that information. Also, I am making a small number of special edition nameplates for Maker Fair Bay Area 2019, so if you're planning to be there and you'd like to have one, just come find me and ask if I have any left. Your best bet is probably to find me trying to keep dry over at the content creator stage. And for those of you who can't make it, I'm giving away five nameplates to a random selection of viewers capable of following the directions down in the video description. Now I gotta shut down the shop and go pack. Follow me over on Instagram for live updates from the fair. See you soon.